The Delhi police says order has been restored on the GNU campus after they carried out flag marches on the campus late on Sunday night. Power, which had been turned off, has been restored on campus, but there has been not a single arrest so far. Despite a hundred strong mob running amok on the university campus, the violence broke out shortly after 6.30 p.m. on Sunday evening in Delhi's Jawaharlal Nehru University. Masked ghouls uh, wielding sticks and stones even entered the girls' hostel, brutally attacking students. Several students and some faculty members were injured. They were admitted to the Ames Trauma Center and the Safdarjung Hospital. All of them have sustained head injuries. At present, uh, campus ke andar situation is normal. Hai. Uh, on the written request of the university administration, uh, police has uh, entered the university campus. Or uh, uh, campus mein enter karne ke baad, extensive flag march uh, police ne conduct kiya hai university campus mein. Jitne bhi hostel areas hai, uh, unko secure kiya hai. At present, kisi bhi tarikhe ka violence uh, kisi bhi part of university se reported nahi hai. जो शाम में एक इंसिडेंट हुआ था जिसमें दो ग्रुपों के बीच में झगड़ा हुआ था जिसमें कुछ स्टूडेंट्स को इंजरीज भी हुई हैं सब्सिक्वेंटली लॉट ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी वाज डैमेज्ड इन द कैंपस एरिया जिसको देखते हुए यूनिवर्सिटी एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने पुलिस अथॉरिटीज को रिटर्न में रिक्वेस्ट किया टू एंटर द यूनिवर्सिटी प्रेमाइसिस एंड रिस्टोर पीस इसके मध्य है तो हमने यूनिवर्सिटी कैंपस एरिया में एंटर किया है एंड वी हैव डन इट now, how did the JNU violence start? The violence linked to fee hike was the issue at various JNU schools that had been shut down on strike over the fee hike. On Sunday, the JNU administration, ABVP, wanted to open the gates of the schools and there was a scuffle that started between the left and the right factions of the JNU, including stone pelting later on Sunday evening. The ABVP students regrouped and the sources have been saying that the ABVP students returned with a bigger mob including outsiders. Now, Jawaharlal Nehru University Student Union President Aishi Ghosh also got injured in the violence and she said that she was attacked by goons who were wearing masks. I have been brutally attacked by goons who wear masks. I don't know, I have been bleeding. I am not even in a condition to talk. I have been brutally beaten up. I was there with one of my activists. Now to get a sense of uh, what has happened at a GNU, let's go across to my colleague Rika Roy who is joining us on the phone line. Rika? Well, uh, uh, Divya, we have almost reported what has happened uh, uh, last evening. There has been no overnight development. But, uh, you know, I can tell you that the Ministry of, the Secretary of the Ministry of Human Resource Development has called the Register, the Proctor and the Rector of uh, uh, JNU uh, to his office today and they want to have a meeting to sort out uh, the situation. Uh, also, the, uh, also, we do know that uh, JNU TA or the Teachers Association of JNU uh, will have a uh, press conference at about uh, 2 p.m. today. We know it, it's not just the students, but several teachers have also been beaten up. There are several unanswered questions uh, in this, uh, Divya. Uh, basically, how uh, did these people, many of whom are now deemed to be outsiders, get in? Because when you have to get into a get into any university, you have to write your name at the gate, you have to uh, uh, furnish a proper identity. How did this mob and where from did this mob get in is a big question. No arrests have been made so far. 24 people are injured uh, in this incident. Also, interestingly, there is a talk of a WhatsApp group that's been widely reported. And the WhatsApp group uh, is called Friends of RSS. Um, and, and again, you uh, students have been sharing screenshots of conversations uh, from this group. There are multiple users were discussing ways to counter left terrorism. One person identified as Yogendra Shara Bharadyaj, uh, in fact, said uh, that uh, we should uh, get hold of these people and thrash them. Uh, there's just one medicine for them. 
apparently Dhananjay Singh, one of their professors, is a part of the group, but he said that he was not active in that group. There are two people in that group, Sandeep Singh and Bhardwaj. His messages have, their messages have been circulated as uh, screenshots. Uh, Dhananjay Singh, this uh, professor in question, he is a part uh, of uh, of JNU. He is in the he is one of the faculties in English department. He said that his uh, his chief uh, his, his job was to get the situation under control and uh, and to ensure peace in the university. And um, uh, you know he'll probably be one of those who will be questioned because of his presence on the group. So he says that he was not uh, uh, an active member. Right now, what we do know is that there are police vans outside the JNU campus. There are five or uh, six of them. There are security guards as well. Uh, but the worrying thing is that no arrests have been made so far. Wearing uh, students, even last night, we saw we have, we have that footage. We've heard from students that they have been complaining that some of the goons, some of these outsiders have locked themselves in a few of the hostels.